We are the smartest talk show right now. Smartest guest. I yes, don't know that's that. well, that's what makes the show smart. He brings our IQ up by yes. hundreds of points. How did you guys handle science in school? Well, I didn't like science, cutting up the frogs, and I didn't do it. My guidance counselor in high school told me to stop taking math and science if I wanted to go to university. <laughs> For Christmas one, my brother, he got a chemistry set. There's no way you could buy this chemistry set today because of all yeah. the chemicals <laughs> and stuff they put in there. Yeah. But all we would do was just, okay, let's set it on fire. That's all we wanted to do was just burn the stuff. <laughs> let's talk about Dan Riskin. And he has a Bachelor of Science in Zoology, Master's of Science in Biology, and he has a PhD in Zoology. So he's got all the ologies. And he's appeared on Animal Planet, Monsters Inside Me. Yeah. He's also been on Daily Planet. His first popular book was called Mother Nature is Trying to Kill You. His current book, The Owner of the Fruit Bat. He's also the current CTV Science and Technology Specialist. Ladies and gentlemen, Dan Risk. Hey, yeah. Yeah. All the buttons. I was like trying to turn my camera on. Anyway, it, it baffled me. I'm good on paper, but I'm not that smart in real life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're really loving that book behind you, Fiona the Fruit Bat. Oh, you've got a copy. That's great. I'm a bat guy. I fell in love with bats in high school. They are the reason that I got into science. Finally written a kid's book trying to get kids excited about bats and echolocation. You got into bats in high school? Yeah. How? This book. This book. I was at the museum in the gift shop. I had to get a book to read in school. My mom said, pick any book you want. And I just picked it off the shelf. It's written so engagingly. And it was about the bats, but it was also about how funny it is to study bats and all the things that can go wrong. That became the in for me. I was wondering, gotta have some sort of performance experience. Yeah. I did do high school drama. When I got into grad school and I was presenting at conferences, just that little bit of training I'd gotten from high school gave me a huge leg up over a lot of scientists. My start in TV, I got a phone call from a production company in the States. We heard that you give good talks at scientific conferences, we wonder if you'd like to work on this project. It was called Evolve and it was on the History Channel. And the show wasn't a huge success, but it was fine. But then that same production company did a show called Monsters Inside Me about parasites. Tapeworm in somebody's brain. And normally when you have worms in the brain, that's a bad thing. But this story was interesting because the victim thought he had a brain cancer. But what's great about that show is that there was no exaggeration. Yeah. Parasites really are that bad. Talking about parasites now, you've been on Craig, okay, Craig Ferguson is not a parasite, but you've been <laughs> on his show. I'm his parasite. So sure. many times. There's another fly you need to know about. The female has a body part that she sticks into the male when they mate. He has to release sperm and nutrients to feed her or she won't let go because scientists tried pulling them apart and the male ripped in half. <laughs> Craig Ferguson makes that funnier just by just doing this. Yeah. This is probably the show that people know you most from, Daily Planet. Yeah. Jay Ingram had hosted that show right. for many years and was ready to do something different. But they reached out to me and I was flattered to even be considered. No, 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 oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> I'm sweating like a pig. That was the most intense thing I've ever done for this show. <laughs> Energy level in the studio is through the roof right now. Why? Because Commander Chris Hadfield is here with us yeah. from the International Space Station. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us on this epic journey. Oh, wow. It was a pretty good, pretty good gig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to Chris Hadfield on the International Space Station, like it does not get cooler than that. You're at home and you see a little bug, take out your microscope, headlamp and all that stuff and start pulling stuff yeah. apart. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I do. <laughs> get my kids involved. My daughter, she spotted a bug, turned it over and there was a maggot coming out of it. And so we were super excited Whoa. and she did what every seven-year-old girl should do. She grabbed it and went and showed it to her grandparents. So I'm, <laughs> I'm very proud of her. Thank you so much. Dan, thanks oh, so much, man. Yeah. Well, thanks for finding all those fun clips. That was a good trip down memory lane. Thanks so much. Hey, good luck with your book. You make science so interesting. So exciting. I love the fact that we have a scientist. I know. It's, great. it's Canadian talent. Share. Like. Comment. Don't forget to subscribe, folks. Subscribing helps us.